Hey, Flurbert, Sonne here, and welcome to the part 3, the third part of the tutorial series on the advanced vehicle system uh, by Unreal Engine, for Unreal Engine. Um, we're doing fine, but then this guy came along and he made an entire game, so what we're going to do now is speedrun an entire game. Um, in this series, in, in this part, we will set up a level, and in the next part, we will make a spline path, uh, so you can have AI running around your your level. That's 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 like the premise of of having a racing game, I guess. So what we need is um, all the basic stuff. Let's add a directional light. Directional light. There you go. Directional light. I found it. Um, well, well, we're not going to mess around with like any of these settings because we're on a speed run. Uh, so, what's next? A skylight, a sky atmosphere, and there you go. Uh, re enable real-time capture. It's costly, but, um, well, we're on a speed run, so we have to hurry. Uh, make this the sun, and there will be light. And I saw that the light was good. Next, a landscape. Uh, make it slightly bigger because we're going to race with vehicles and vehicles are quite fast and if you can drive uh, across your entire map in like a couple of seconds then it will not be a very fun racing game, will it? Um, enable add layers because that's very important for the proceduralism we're going to imply. Uh, we could choose a layer now but, um, well, I'm not going to. I just hit create. There we have a black landscape, isn't that beautiful? Black landscapes matter, uh, but we're going to make it desert colored now because um, desert color matters. I don't know, man. Uh, there, there you have it. It's it's a landscape. We're done. Haha. <laughs> no, because landscapes are not this flat. Well, in Minecraft country they are, but that's 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 in the Netherlands. Um, don't don't come to the Netherlands if you don't like flat countries. Anyway, I'm using Brushify like always, and Brushify forest packs come with a, like a very nice alpha brush, and I'm going to use a alpha brush. Make the brush size as big as possible, and the tool strength <coughs> tool strength should be two, and that will be fine. I'm sorry for the coughing, but um. I'm I'm having a cold, so uh, which is really scary because I cannot go uh, to 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 like the grocery store without people looking at me like, oh no, that's COVID! You're going to kill us all. Anyway, uh, I want to give the corners a little bit more oomph, so I click the corners one more time. That's pretty good. It's actually it's perfect, except for it looks like a pile of trash and and you cannot drive around on on this kind of trash i guess um well let's try it anyway take a military vehicle a military mpv or a military pickup i will choose the pickup um and there we go we are driving with our pickup and it looks like shit like i said so let's smooth this stuff out uh, go to the sculpt app and do, make the tool strength 5 and just click, 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 click. That's four clicks for you guys. And now the, the landscape should be smooth. And it's smooth as your mother's. <clears throat> okay. Um, military pickup. Uh, we can drive. And yeah, well, now it looks a lot better. Um... I know one more thing, uh, we need to assign the physics material uh, in, the, in the layer info that we just painted. The physics material will be a uh, surface dirt. Save and apply this and if you now test it and we hit the brakes hard then yay we have dirt uh, skid marks. That's, that's progression I guess. Um, so what else? Uh, oh! I know what what like a racing a good racing game really needs. That's that's a road. We're going to use splines because, well, that's like the only obvious way to make roads. Splines. Make it a new layer for the splines, by the way. That way you can have the the edit layers work for you and not against you. <coughs> 
All right. Sorry for the second cough. Um, now, just click somewhere, uh, control click, um, and just keep clicking, and make some nice shape, like this. Click it, click it, click it, click And when you're almost done, not when you're done, when you're almost done, go to the first billboard and click it. Now you will have a loop, and well, that, that's how a, a, a racing track works, right? You have a, a, not a start and an end. No, it, it's a loop, unless it's a rally game. But we're not making a rally game because, um, I don't know. Also, give like the control points in the segments all the procedural... Remove procedural layer info. Uh, assign um, a mesh, of course. Uh, these come with the Brushify Roads pack. Um, so I'm sorry, I cannot give this away. But you can buy it yourself and it's really not expensive. Now you say, well, the stuff is, doesn't deform yet. What's happening? Uh, should I click this button? No, 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 no. Do not ever click this, the, the deform landscape because you can assign the, the land, the, the, you can assign the road to the, uh, the layer. And well, look at it. Now, now you can move the, the stuff around and it will automatically update your landscape. Exactly what we want. Uh, now, to have some foliage going on, we need to have procedural foliage. So, go to your editor preferences and add, uh, add, tick the procedural foliage checkbox. Now, we can um, add a procedural foliage volume. There you go. Just yik it on to your level. And I already um, prepared myself a procedural footage uh, spawner and I call it cacti because there are four cactus in my, um, in my, in my thingy. Right, um, let me show you how this works. So there are four different uh, plants. I, I imported them from Megascans. There you have them. And uh, then I created a static mesh foliage thing and the exclusion landscape layers should always be remove procedural why well because then where where, where there's roads there's no cacti and we don't want cacti on the road do we i don't uh, i don't know anything uh, anyone who who does want that so uh, okay let's hit resimulate and look we have some some cacti growing and, and they're looking pretty nice. So now, now we know this works. Uh, let's untick BSP and static mesh because we do not want that and make it bigger and uh, make it bigger and make it bigger and make it so big that it will that it will swallow your entire landscape. Now if we hit resimulate we will see we have cacti on the road. Why is that? Well um to be honest, I know exactly why that's uh, the case because I put this remove procedural on the segments and you would think that's enough, right? I mean, they're on the segments, but no, you have to put it on the control points as well. And if I like apply and save now, you will see that if I move this road, um, there will be grass where there was road before. And if I move it back, there will be road and there will not be grass. That's what we want. Perfect. Now, uh, let's go back to... to, 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 to let's go back to our um, procedural foliage volume and hit resimulate. There you go. Resimulate. The cacti are not on the road. Now we can pick like a, a serious vehicle and drive around on a track. The next thing we have to set up um, is the, the AI that will drive around. Uh, I will do that in the next video. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!